I want to show you a basement that you've never seen before. These ceiling heights are crazy. Well, you can't even see the top of the ceiling from the top of his head. You look small in this house, Freddy. Do I? That's how I like to shower <laughs> with nine other people. You don't like that nightclub feel in your bedroom? <laughs> it's huge. Like, these are huge windows. It's just another thoughtfully laid out floor. Hey guys, Freddie Mac here with Feral Real Estate. We're here on a beautiful winter wonderland day. It's in Canada, it snows, but it's okay. We're still gonna show property. I'm here with the incredible, the gorgeous, the wonderful <laughs> Lily Ha. She's actually an OG. She's the first agent to ever join Feral Real Estate. And we're here at her newest listing. This is 110 Plateau Crescent. We are in the heart of North York. Lawrence and Don Mills being the major intersection, Banbury Don Mills. I love North York because you get the space, the square footage of your home, but it's also still very close to Toronto. And what do we got going on here? We have a brand new custom build here, featuring four bedrooms and five washrooms. I want to show you a basement that you've never seen before. It's 13 feet ceiling height. And in the primary bedroom, one of my favorite places in the house is a nine piece ensuite with heated floors. Let's check it Let's out. Let's go check it out. Wow, this is a beautiful home. Oh, I like this pocket door. So this is really nice. It kind of opens the space up so there's no swing. Yeah, it maximizes the floor space here. So then it helps you with loading, unloading. Let me walk you through the space. We have 10 foot ceilings here. We have a very nice open concept. Family dining kitchen that's completely open up. And as you can see, we have huge floor to ceiling windows throughout the entire home. When I walk you through upstairs and downstairs, you're gonna see the same type of format flowing through. Yeah, and I see all the trim is wider trim all around the windows, baseboards. Yeah, they went full out in terms of all the little details with the custom lighting, the pot lights. We have 16 built-in speakers in here too. The recessed lighting is beautiful. Yeah, this is really cozy. This is nice. Fireplace is on. We've got how many fireplaces in this house? We have four fireplaces, which you'll be able to see. This is one of them. And the nice thing about the house, which I really like, is the exposure. So you have your east exposure here, flowing from sunrise all the way to sunset into your back. We have some lights on, but honestly, it's so bright in here, thanks to the window and all the natural lighting we have. And I actually want to show you the kitchen space, yeah, um, a couple of other things. It's a beautiful kitchen. It's a very, very large kitchen, and if you spend a lot of time in the kitchen, you know how important is cabinet spacing. Mm -hmm. I can't stress that enough. Storage, storage, storage. Yeah, you've got tons of storage, and I noticed the hardware, which is really beautiful. It's this sort of brass finish. It's the brass finish, but it's like a really softer brass, which makes the house a little bit more warm, along with this pop of blue on the island itself, this navy color. It just makes it more homey, more cozy for me, as opposed to like the sterile and the classic white that you see throughout. And you've got electric here? which is nice, your plugs. Yeah, built-in electric on both sides of the island. This is a fairly large island. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Yeah, usually we see, what, four to five feet islands. Here you've got an eight foot. Yeah, you can really seat four people on the island comfortably. Great for entertaining. I want to show behind you because we have the integrated appliances too. These stovetop wolf appliances are really great. You don't have these sort of huge ovens that are here. You can put that separately as a wall up. Exactly, and it again, it gives you more storage, storage yeah. for your pots and pans, for, no, your, it's great. for whatnot in there. And if I can actually ask you to open up that cabinet, there is your fridge. Oh, that's great. Nice double door. You can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, and I love these fridges where you've got the hidden hinges. For sure, for sure. And it allows you to do the paneling on the side to really make it as integrated as possible and a finished look. Mm -hmm. And you've got the marble on the backsplash, Throughout. pot filler. It's around these jugs. <laughs> yeah, what would you use those jugs for? Musical instruments. <laughs> Yeah, this is a great kitchen though. We have this great undermount sink here overlooking the backyard and the park view. As you're doing dishes, maybe it won't be as horrible anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Usually our buyers, they're looking for either backing onto a park or green space, it's very high demand. Yeah, for sure. And you can see like it's snowing today, it's still pretty beautiful, but if you can imagine this large tree back there when it fills up in the spring or summer, it's so much greenery and you're gonna get even more privacy. It's stunning. <laughs> and how big is this lot? The lot itself is a 70 by 110. Mm -hmm. So 70 foot lots, you know, I'm sure you're aware they don't come by very often, um, especially in the city of Toronto. So this is definitely a very special. That's great. 
Notice the walkout here? Yes, I love this walkout actually. It's key because you have your deck and possibly entertainment barbecue out there. You don't have to trek through your house in order to get the tongs or the plate that you forgot to bring. You go straight into your kitchen, grab the things you need, and then head back on outside. And I see a gas line. You were doing your gas line barbecue or even heater lamps, honestly. So this is a great open common space. And then I want to bring you over to the living room, which is a little bit more private and cozy. This is the living room. Yeah, it's kind of set off from the it's main set foyer. Off. Yeah. It gives you a little bit of privacy. It allows you to unwind if you want. And this is the second of four fireplaces that we're going to see today. Guest bath over there. Guest bath. And this is the private office space in here too. Come on in. I actually want to show you here. From all the people working from home nowadays and whatnot, this is a great space for you to do your work, to be separate from the family a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you the vent covers. It's fully integrated with the same wood that we've we'll been walking on. Yeah, and it's, again, floor to ceiling windows here. Huge, huge, huge. Recessed huge. lighting. It yeah. kind of carries through the main floor. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. I love that you picked that up. <laughs> Consistency, yeah. So this fully opens up. Oh, that's really nice. So you've got two levels of entertaining outdoors. Yeah, two levels of entertainment. Uh, you can't see it right now, but it's full wood planks on the deck itself with a glass and black railing. And with the park view, it just makes it a nice calm vibe. Yeah. The main floor was laid out really well, like how they designed sort of the main space combined with the kitchen. And this is sort of a private entertaining space. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Exactly. Custom bookshelves too. So I really see the space as like me reading a book, unwinding, and sort of my own space mm -hmm. as opposed to the big open concept where you have your family and whatnot. Right. right. So as I mentioned, this is 10 foot ceiling. What I want to show you is our basement, which is 13 foot ceiling. These ceiling heights are crazy. Usually you see like eight, nine foot ceilings in yeah, a basement. Yeah, for the basement. Yeah, and I love golf and I know, you know, a lot of clients that they want home simulators, they need at least like 11 and a half, 12 foot clearance and here you've got 13. Yeah, so you can totally have that set up here if that's your thing. If not, we have a home theater set up here already too. Again, we have built-in speakers down here. It allows you an extra living space and we have this built-in wet bar yeah. underneath the stairs at Crawl Space to maximize square footage. It uses again. all the space. Awesome. And you've got like full entertainment. You got the wet bar. You got the sound system. Yeah, yeah. This is what kind of flooring is this? This is concrete flooring. And it's warm. It's warm because they're heated. That's the one thing about basements. Again, a lot of people don't utilize their basement because they feel like it's cold, it's dark, it's dungy. Right. Um, but this is like fully open, so bright, yeah. and a heated floor is will allow you to utilize the space. Yeah, so why don't we check out how it's getting heated, yeah, like we look at the mechanical room. So you've got hydronically heated flooring. You notice some of the hot water running through the lines there. I love right it how you're so techy. <laughs> yeah, this is the nerd room. And then you've got <laughs> exactly. the HRV system, tankless water heater. Yeah, and everything is owned too, so nothing is a rental, uh, which is really important. And the HRV system gives you filtered airflow. It's important to have in homes nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's a built-in cold room in here too. That's nice. So again, more storage, more space for you to, to put stuff. Additionally, you have another bedroom down here as like an in-law suite and it has a full walk-in closet. Nice, yeah, this is a pretty big space for, a, for an in-law slash nanny suite. It's really cozy down here and you've got another fireplace to really warm it up. This is three or four, if you remember and keeping count, this is the third one. And we have the walkout basement into your backyard. It's just another thoughtfully laid out floor. Exactly. It's very, very well done. Is there more to it? I noticed it kind of turns around. Yeah, let me show you. This is there. one of my favorite features of the home, actually. Over on this side, you have your four-piece bathroom. And this is your large mudroom area with your laundry, a wash sink, and a dog washing station. For the viewers at home, you can't really gauge how high the ceiling is. We've got our camera guy, Emmett. I just got to show you guys how tall Emmett is. Well, you can't even see the top of the ceiling from the top of his head. Six foot six. It's crazy, it's so nice in here. Yeah, and this is the direct access I was telling you about into the garage, which is a finished space, by the way. 18 feet garage door, so you can comfortably fit, I would say, two large SUVs. So down here is one of my favorite features of this house is this wash station. If you have dogs, you have kids, you know exactly what I mean. That's a full-size wash station. Oh yeah, I can wash you off too. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes you're, you're gross. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I've, got, well, I've got two little ones, so like I know when the wife brings them home, mm -hmm. come in through the direct access, you can shove them here and just hose them off. Hose them off, wash off their boots, dirt, mud, sand, whatever they're bringing from the outside. You just don't want to be able to truck them through the house. It's a nice sized wash station. For sure, it's large 
throw the clothes in the laundry. And speaking of laundry, we have a secondary location where you can have another set of laundry. That's nice, yeah. yeah and I'm so excited to show you the primary bedroom with a nine piece ensuite. So the floating staircases was a really great choice when they designed this home. Keeps the natural light kind of flowing through the house. Exactly. Yeah. And the glass really showcased the size of the home. And another big window. And the skylight, if yeah. you look up. Over here to the left is our primary bedroom. Yeah, it's great. You've got another pocket door here, so there's no swing over the stairwell. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't even remember the lighting downstairs. Yeah, so the they rope carry lighting. the same rope lighting. So it's continuous throughout your entire home. Mm -hmm. Same with the baseboards, the doors, all the little the details. Flooring, everything. It's everything. all continued throughout every level. It's exactly. great. Exactly. Yeah. And this is our four or four fireplace we've been keeping count. <laughs> yeah. And you like the blue lighting? I think I prefer more of a you yellow. You don't like that nightclub feel in the bedroom? <laughs> yeah. These windows are massive again, floor to ceiling and is overlooking the park view again, right? Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And people don't realize how expensive these kind of Insane. windows are. Yeah. yeah, if you're renovating or you're custom building a house, typically your windows will run you for a house of this size, 40 to $50,000 exactly. Canadian. Here you're probably looking at spending well into the six figures for Just this windows size of alone. a window. Yeah. yeah, because your typical window wouldn't be this large and this is almost wall to wall too. Mm -hmm. So here we have the nine piece ensuite with heated floors. Heated floors are so, so important to me. It's and I love these giant porcelain slabs. And it's carried throughout your shower too. And you can tell that it is a complete seamless, so there's no transition. Yeah. Again, you look small in this house, Freddie. Do I? <laughs> you can shower on both sides. You can shower both sides where you can have, what, 10 people in there? Yeah, that's how I like to shower <laughs> with nine other people. A nice soaker tub, a double vanity here. All in all, a very beautiful ensuite. And the last space in this room is this beautiful dressing walk-in closet. Walk right in. All the built-ins, you got the makeup table. Yeah, this is probably a her space. Well, this is like a his space for me. Got lots of stuff. Too. That one drawer. <laughs> there you go. And all the lighting too, you can see the fixtures are all kind of similar. They've got a nice theme that kind of carry throughout the house. Yeah, it's, it's nice that you mentioned the lighting because the theme is carried throughout with the chandelier here. And you remember the downstairs dining, even in the basement. Mm -hmm. This is the location of where you have your secondary laundry. So that's great. So you don't have to trek all the way down. Exactly, yeah. yeah. This is the second bedroom. And again, the large, Another large huge window. Yeah. So this is so crazy because I'm six feet tall and if I'm standing here, I'm not even close to the top. Are you sure you're six? I'm maybe a little bit less yeah <laughs> but it's but it's uh it's huge like these are huge windows these are huge windows and again that same theme is carried throughout the entire home right it was very very important um to the owners to the designer to have this feature throughout and this room really has it all it's got an ensuite too you got an ensuite and a walk-in closet in the ensuite you have a skylight up top I will put my favorite kid in here. <laughs> I want to show you the other two bedrooms, which is also great. And they have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Yeah, so the seller, they decided to go with four instead of five bedroom. 4,500 square feet, typically you could go five bedroom. Why did the seller choose to go four bedroom? Because they really want large bedrooms. Mm -hmm. They felt like four bedrooms is sufficient for a typical family. Right. And instead, it of having, instead of having smaller rooms, really allowing the kid to put in a proper bed, a proper desk, dresser, and whatnot, is better than just having a bed in a room. Yeah, and walk-in closets. Walk-in closets, yeah. key again for storage. And this is the Jack and Jill bathroom that connects both of the rooms in here. Very As nice. you see, all rooms are fairly large in size. And they've got that hardwood in every room. Same hardwood that integrated through the entire house that we saw downstairs in the basement and also the matching staircase color. So I want to bring you back downstairs, kind of just talk about overview of the house, of the neighborhood, and what really makes this property so special and uh, why I think it's a great investment. Let's go. I used to live around here, just uh, a little bit more north, but right around the neighborhood, so I know it quite well. We're minutes away from a huge shopping center, transit, highway, schools, really great amenities in the neighborhood. And one of my favorite parts when I was living here are the trails around here. So off the property is Moccasin Trail. It's a walking trail and a lot of people do biking and uh, it connects you to Edward Gardens. And then from Edward Gardens, you go all the way down to the beaches and it's a great way to, to get outdoors. If you're even just a few streets further west, a similar house like this, would mm -hmm. run you five million plus. Yep, yep. And here you're not even close to that. This size lot, tear down bungalow, you're looking at 1.7 and up in this neighborhood. Yeah. And you know, you know, from Farrell in terms of construction, like how much would you say is to build this house? Yeah, so Farrell works a lot with 
clients that want to custom build homes mm -hmm. and we work with developers and builders and you're looking at hard costs I think to build this kind of product type probably in the $400 $500 per square foot range yeah so at 4,500 square feet you're close to two million bucks yeah and that's just to build right mm -hmm. and to purchase a uh, land in this neighborhood for this size lot you're north of 17 for sure right so like all in cost plus your soft cost you're probably north of four million dollars yeah and here you're well under that price we're point. well under that price point so that's what I mean by value and this is a brand special Spanking new house. Brand spanking new it's house. It's so new that like, I know for the viewers out there, they can't see this or smell, smell. this, but like you turn the fireplaces on, you smell the dust burning. It's exactly. that new. Yeah. Lily, thank you so much for this tour. It was really fantastic. No, thank you for coming by. And thank you everyone for watching. Lily's information is in the description below if you want more information on this property. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Feral Real Estate. Cold. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. So we're walking on actually a hardwood floor, and this is seven and a half inches, which is a very large plank. Is seven and a half inches large? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So should I not talk about sizing anymore? No, you can talk about okay. size. Is size important? Is does the size matter? Does size matter? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming by. You're or welcome. <laughs>